In this problem, we have unions and intersections, and there's an order of operations. So what we're going to do, in order, whenever you have parentheses, you do what's inside the parentheses first. So first thing we're going to do is compute what's B union C. So it's everything in B and everything in C. So let's go alphabetically here. So I'm looking at B and C. So I'm looking right here. What's in common? I see an A, but I don't see an A over in C, but I do see they both have a B. They both have an E. Oh, I'm unioning. I'm not intersecting. So I'm writing out everything in both. A, B, D, E, A, B, D, E, F, J. So I'm going to go back and double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. So I have B, E, F, J, B, E, F, J, I got all those, and A, B, D, E, A, B, D, E. If you write them alphabetically ordered, it might make it a little bit more simple. Uh, so I recommend doing that if you can. All right, so we just did B, Union, C. Now we're going to do A, intersect B, Union, C. So I'm just going to rewrite A right here, which I'm just reading that, B, D, H, J. If you notice, I'm not writing commas because everything is one letter here, so I know B, D are two different things, even though there's not a comma between the B and the D. All right, B, D, H, J. All right, we got those. A, intersect B, union C. So this intersection means only what's in common to A and B, union C. So we're looking at these two sets and only what's in common. So we're going to go left to right. There's an A only in one of them, so it's not A. But we get over to B, and there's two Bs. They both have a D. I don't know why I'm writing commas now. B, D, E, F, H. Are, there's not doubles of those, but J, they both have a J. So there we go, B, D, J. Your problem might be parenthesized like this right here. And if it is, you're going to do the parenthesized first and then union second.